On this edition of Diecast and Porn, we're going to be taking a look at the International Lone Star Sleeper with 53-foot refrigerated van. This is item number 71043. It is part of Diecast Master's transport series, and it is in 1 to 50 scale. So this time, the epic packaging features an orange background with the transport series logo. And on the back, you have the product line on the right with the tractor-trailer combos. And on the left, information about the real Lone Star truck, including details about its Cummins engine. So inside this particular box, you have the catalog showing the other models in the transport series range. And also a series of three different smokestack options that you can put on the truck, whichever one you think looks the best. For this case, I kind of have the smokestacks that curve off to the right. All right, so taking a look at this model, both of these castings, the truck and the trailer, are brand new molds for Diecast Masters for this year. So really one negative part of this model, if you can call it a negative thing, is that it's so shiny in chrome that you're going to be chasing fingerprints any time that you touch this thing. Uh, so that's both a good and a bad thing. But the finish is very high quality and looks great. Contrary to what the box says... It does not have the 53-foot graphic right here, like it says it does on the box. However, you do have your super heavy triangle here and your Caution 9.6 high container graphic right here. You also have your squared off aerodynamic addition onto the trailer, just like the 53-foot dry goods container has. And you have your uh, wheel arches, your plastic wheel arches above the rear tires. Moving towards the back of the trailer, this is where the 53-foot graphic makes an appearance, right here on the door. There's also some small, subtle details here, lights, and the protection bar as well. Your doors do swing open, just like that, and they swing all the way to the side of this trailer. On this side, very much the same as on the other side, with your two graphics here, your striping, and your lights. But what differentiates this trailer from the other 53-footer is the fact that it has this squared-off refrigeration unit on the front of this, and that is all done up in die-cast metal. Looking underneath the trailer, you have your plastic landing legs, and this is one of those where you have to physically remove it and then reinstall it in the down position if you wish to have the trailer uh, separated from the truck, which that is no big deal at all. Over here, your tires are the same as on the other trailers with the realistic tread design. Moving on to the Lone Star truck. I mentioned that you can install one of three different smokestacks. These are the ones that curve off at the top. This gray paint scheme or silver paint scheme is exclusive as of now to the refrigeration trailer set so you can't buy this color truck just by itself. The International Lone Stars, very similar to the Freightliner Cascadia, feature a moving fifth wheel so you can shift the fifth wheel forward and to the rear. The rubber mud flaps have the International Pyramid logo on them with some lights, or triangle logo rather. And International is also embossed on the die cast cab. You have some nice running lights throughout the bottom all the way here. and the iconic Lone Star front grill. You also have lights right here and right here. Finally, the drivers and the passengers doors do open and you can get a good look at the purple or magenta colored interior of these trucks. The hoods do open on these. You can see a red engine 
and some other crucial component components. Lastly, underneath the trucks, there is some detail, such as tread patterns, the engine, the transmission, drive shaft. Something that could be improved on these international trucks, and unfortunately it's a compromise that had to be made with these castings because of the way the fender wells are, is the steering angle is somewhat restricted. So you can pose the truck turning, but at the most extreme angles it does fall foul of the top of the wheel arches, so only a little bit of an angle can be achieved. But as I always like to say, something is better than nothing. So there you go guys, that is a review of the Diecast Masters 53-foot refrigerated trailer with the International Lone Star Cab in 1 to 50 scale. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe, and we will see you soon.